Hi guys, hi again. Um, I want to do a reading today and uh, this is another interesting reading and it's called mirroring. So there's nine questions about you and your partner or future partner. It can be a soulmate, a twin flame or any partner and you kind of your energies, how you're feeling right now. And the questions are for him and for her are who I am right now. Okay. So who I am right now, we're going to start actually from the top here. So this is you, the feminine or the masculine, it doesn't matter. And this is them. Okay. Whoever is seeing this and they think that I am this, then, then that's who you are. If you see they are them, <laughs> okay? Because sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, everyone defines themselves somewhere there. Okay, so you can, I cannot say, oh, this is them. But then it can be you, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. However, you're watching me now. So you is here and them is there, okay? <laughs> okay so you have six of water and he has justice or she has justice you are not are watching me you got the six of water and the six of water says memories from your history or childhood childhood issues regarding children romanticizing the past so right now you are in a place of nostalgia you are fantasizing, dreaming, you're recalling the good times with him, but you're also holding on a bit too much to the past. And this card is saying that you got to see beyond, um, beyond the just the fantasy and you got to see the real problem of the, um, of the situation. And uh, this is also saying that whatever pains you have, you see that like almost like a childhood ghost coming out from the depth of the water whatever wounds you have um you gotta recognize those wounds that has nothing to do with your partner whatever you can let go in the past that you think you're holding on so strongly to this person is because you find so much love there's something about this person that you you, you used to recognize it in the past. Maybe you loved someone so dearly in the past and maybe you lost them or the love you never had in the past and finally you found it through this other person and you don't want to go through that experience of uh, abandonment again. So that's why you're holding to this, um, to this partner and he's saying that whatever you learned from the past or pain, Carry that as a learning lesson into the future with a positive mindset, okay? Nostalgia, but don't live in the past. Live in the future, okay? And um, yes, if whatever you learned is a learning experience, okay? Do not look back. Now, take the strength to look forward because it's saying right now you are just reminiscing about the past and this and what he said and what he did or you did but you're not doing nothing about it so uh be careful with that okay you're romanticizing the past but in the same time uh you know also leave it at that do not contemplate too much have a mindset for the future okay how how he sees himself, who is, he, who is he right now? So this is who you are and who is he right now? He feels like he's booked in justice, he or she, okay? He or she. She or he is putting justice to place, okay? They're firm, they're confident, but they're fair. Justice is all about fairness. Uh, fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs so whoever is detaching now they have some core values something that they know they have done nothing wrong okay and they're trying to prove that uh, in a fair way 
okay? So um, without emo involving emotions, uh, while you on the other side, there's a lot of water involved, this other person is trying to analyze the situation from a very balanced mindset and with no intention to hurt you whatsoever. They're trying to find the reason behind, behind their actions or your actions, okay? This is mirroring. There's so much water and then we have justice, but justice uh, it's not like it's non-emotional, it's very diplomatic. So they were not, they're not going to put themselves up there uh, just to, to entertain you or to make you feel better because you're missing those golden times, you know. They're looking for logic and honesty and fairness without mind games. And uh, they want to understand uh, uh, that you're not playing games with them and uh and they're not playing games with you okay uh so that requires for them to to be a bit sharp you see with that knives he he will cut out any bullshit he or she it can be you on the other side but okay like if you're cross watching for them they're and you're wondering well well, what are they doing? Well, you know what? They're cutting through the bullshit. They want truth. Justice is about truth. So how are they going to do it? By detaching themselves emotionally. And they want to see how you respond to it. So be careful. Okay. So um, this is what I feel now. Okay. This is what I feel now. Life experience. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings, Archangel Camwell. Look at that. Life experience. So you're feeling now that you are gaining wisdom. Okay. Um, let me see into one plus six, also about seven, which is the crown chakra. You are so enlightened. You are fully awakened to this connection. And you know this is something divine. And you are gaining knowledge um, about this. Okay? You're seeing some truths regarding to this. And um, you're going through some major personal transformation and changes. Yes. And you seem like you cannot help it, but uh, it's beyond your control. You are you have found out that this is a twin flame, or you're in a special, very strong bond soulmate connection. But it feels more like a twin flame, and uh, it's putting in your place to go through some major personal transformation within. You are letting go of ego. You're letting go of many things. You're liberating yourself from pain and fear and ego. Yes, you are uh, opening up to unconditional love because you just can't stop loving this person no matter what they do to you. But they are saying, I'm just looking for justice and honesty because it's the only way for me to find the truth. Look, he's looking for truth with justice and you are seeing your truth, but from a very spiritual place, but also carrying wisdom because we got the seven here, which is crown chakra. You carry this enlightenment within and wisdom because you have done your homework looking for the answers and uh and now you have the mental clarity now you're like ah i know what what this is about now because i was going crazy you know thinking about the past so much and this and that what he did what she said and now you are like oh i got it this is exactly you are going through this major transformation who are setting you free and is, is making you awaken, fully awaken. Yes, that's where you are right now. An awakened angel on earth. Okay, you are sent here from up above, down to earth. And you have a mission ahead. So don't sit here and contemplate. Because uh, it's saying you are sent here. You have a mission. Okay. And it's not only related to this, uh, to this guy. Okay. 
this is what he feels now. Let's see how he feels about himself. It feels like the night of air. It's funny, like he, the justice here, very sharp. He's like, he's very sharp. Or she, mental clarity. Whoever this other person is, is like decisive, intelligent, idealistic, tireless. They're aiming and targeting for the truth. They're cutting through the bullshit. Sorry, I'm going to repeat myself. BS. Okay, I'll say BS. Um, because they, they're also struggling uh, with the spirituality side of it, which you have it on this side. On your side, I see here more a spiritual openness, but also with groundiness and, and water element, which is all feelings, right? But you are working from within. He is balancing and finding the answers from a psychological and, um, and a logical form of answers. Yes. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Creative solutions. Okay. Again, here with a unicorn. Freedom has been a major emphasis to me it's been popping up everywhere freedom for some reason and uh, it's about setting yourself free and now with mars and mercury going direct it's all about being aggressive and and going and action okay for for the truth and for solutions okay when you have mental strength and you're aiming you have goals and you're aiming for what you want so he's doing it differently he's He's looking for his truth related to you in a very strategic way. So if you think he's doing nothing about this, you're wrong. He's planning and contemplating to understand this bond. Okay? And he's putting some creative solutions to it. To find a solution to get closer to you. Okay? But uh, first, he's trying to find an answer from a mental um, place, which it needs to it needs to balance that with um, with the spiritual side of it, okay? But he is because he's using the justice cards, which is all about spirituality here. The justice card is the spirit element, so it's he's putting heart and mind in a, in, in a fair place in order to find a, a fair solution for both of you. We have the two of water. Sorry, this is on his side. I'm going to do that. Um, this is what he wants from the relationship. He wants from the relationship to continue to grow closer. Oh, look how beautiful. And he wants forgiveness from you. Oh my God. That's why he's been a bit detached and looking for fairness. He wants you to forgive him. But he also, he doesn't want pettiness or just, he wants you to forgive him from a place of heart, you know, and genuine. Not because I forgive you because you need him. You got to forgive him and you got to be able to let him go in the same time. You know, uh, it's very important to, for him to see this, uh, that you have outgrown yourself and you carry love, but also in a detached way. Okay. Um, he needs to see that maturity and you have it because with the seven, the crown chakra, you have the spiritual wisdom and the mental clarity. It's beautiful. That's what he wants. And that's why he does what he does. It's a bit like tirelessly he's been working on this. Uh, because he wants to make sure that this connection is, uh, is bound for life together. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. Okay? The two of cups. He finally, on a spiritual level, he needs to see that you have forgiven him. Okay? That's why he does what he does in the mental level. He keeps this coldness and a detachment, but very balanced. And you wonder, what? why is he doing what he's doing? Because he wants to make sure from an emotional 
uh, spiritual level, you have forgiven him. And then we might see here some uh, physical cards that will prove us, oh, well, yeah, uh, he needs, he's going to get close to you. But first, he needs to see you on a spiritual level that you have forgiven him. That's why his mental uh, um, thinking is very sharp and direct.